The H Foundation's Comedy for Cancer show benefits the Lurie Cancer Center at Northwestern. It's raised nearly $200 million over the past 10 years. And this year's show features some big names like Andy Richter and our very own Mike Toomey and Anna Balava. <laughs> She's joining us right now with the president, John Rott, of the program. And I... I it, we've been on the air almost three years, and this is the first time you've actually sat you on this seat. Never invited me. <laughs> Don't lie. Don't. I was you hoping. You have an open <laughs> invitation, oh, you, but I'm never in studio, so I, I would have to be like a. I'd love to be here. So thank you so much for having me, and I'd love to be part of the show again. Mm -hmm. I did it in Lagrange. What year was that, John? I think it was in 2018 was 2018, our first show. 2018, and mm -hmm. it was wonderful. You, they do a few events, but this one, and just when I saw the lineup, I was like, I want to watch this. Yeah. This Forget me. I don't want to perform. I want to see this. This is a huge lineup. This is a great, great show. John, talk about Comedy for Cancer and how it began. Well, the H Foundation was started when... Uh, one of our associates at the store was uh, diagnosed with cancer. And so we really wanted, we're a small family business. Mm -hmm. We wanted something, uh, a way for everyone to cope with it. So we started uh, an event called uh, the Goombe Bash. But one of the things that was really important, we always wanted our events to be fun. We wanted them to be upbeat. It's mm -hmm. a very serious um, disease, mm -hmm. obviously, mm -hmm. but we wanted to be different. So uh, the comedy event seemed to just fit right in. Yeah, and you have big names, Andy Richter, but you also have the big local names that yes. people want to come and see. I yeah. guess. Yes. Oh, yeah. no. Maybe to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, on the below, we want to see that. And so, I, I, what? Why? Why do it that way? I mean, you could just go big and big, 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 but we've always been a little bit different. Um, we've always tried to focus on um, appealing to anyone who's been touched by the disease. Mm. So, you know, it's not always just the higher tax brackets that uh, can uh, be at fundraisers and, and be involved. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we, uh, we have grade school kids mm -hmm. that are part of our organization all the way up to, to grandmothers. Uh, so we, we fit that bill for everyone who's been touched. And this is at the Tivoli Theater next Thursday, a week from this Thursday, yes. mm -hmm. which is a great venue in Downers Grove. I was telling John, I think that was one of my first theaters that I did stand up in with Toomey and Pat Thomas Hugo. You are, I just have to say, multi-talented, so great at Around Town, but you are so funny. Thank you. If, if you've never seen Anna Balaval perform, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're hilarious. I when know that you... they say my full name. <laughs> I know. They don't say Anna Balaval. You can Balaval. pronounce it, you'll say it full. Yes, That's you right. do. Because we right. had the enthusiasm. When did you start kind of getting bitten by the comedy bug? I mean, because you're naturally It was 15 and... years ago after my daughter was born. Amelia's now 16. And I, I always wanted to do stand-up, but I was very afraid to do it. I was looking for classes, and back then I couldn't find any. And then Mike Toomey reached out to me and said, you know, our friend Pat McGann yes. has this show where ce celebrities from Chicago are going to try stand up for five minutes at Zany's. We'll pair you with a coach. Mike was my coach. Oh, that's yeah. So great. Mike has been my mentor for many years, and I've been doing it for 15 years. I do it in English and Spanish uh -huh. uh, and in Spanglish. Uh -huh. And so that's kind of like the niche that I have found. Right. And I, I toured the suburbs with Tumi and Tamasulo for many years, and it is the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm but already in a yeah. bad mood about next Thursday. No, you're no, not. You're not. Bad mood. You, but it's got to be the most no. rewarding, though, actually, because it's just the thing you were most afraid to do. Yes, it is very rewarding when it works, uh, but stand-up comedians tend to be really crabby and tend to complain about everything, mm. and we, you know, we I get in our minds. I don't see you. You're always so happy. I don't see that side you of you. You don't live with me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. so Andrew, and I'm not in the end. You've been a part of it for yeah. many years of this, of the H Foundation. I know you do that event, and is it maybe Pierre where you do that party? The Goombe, yeah, yeah. where well, you guys are coming this year. It's uh, the black tie, but oh, wow. we all wear Hawaiian clothes. Mm. It's oh. really cool. Again, all raising money. So they it, must do a good job if you got them coming back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, John? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I don't know, it's great. They're the whole reason why we had to move venues. Oh. She sold out the you LaGrange did. Theater the very first year. We had 300 people, and so oh. now we have room for 1,000. Oh, oh so don't let us disappoint them. Please it's buy those great. tickets. It, it's so true, and it all, I mean, it's $75. Everything you see, four incredible comedians. There's all kinds of food. But John, I was trying to, I was explaining to Tanya that you know you've raised 12 million, and that's blossomed into 200 million. 
Yeah, it's pretty u unique where our money is yeah. used. Uh, when we started talking to the director of the Cancer Center, they said they had a, a real need at the beginning stages of research where researchers need to get their, uh, their ideas to a certain level so they can then compete. So our $12 million has turned into over $250 million of research money. Oh, and pediatric awesome. yeah, cancer is one of the least funded when it comes to research. Because I know, unfortunately, I have friends who have gone through this journey mm -hmm. with their children. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is so important to donate to every aspect of the fund of, uh, of the research, from the moment of the idea to all the way to, you know, developing a, uh, a new medication of some sort. Mm -hmm. So it is so expensive, isn't so it? So expensive. Yeah. And, and, and once you have children, you knock on wood, mm -hmm. yes. that, that doesn't happen to you, but it, it, it gets closer and closer every time. And, mm -hmm. and, and I, wish, I wish and I hope that more organizations invest money yeah. in, in, in this research. Absolutely. Well, we can't wait to see you. This is going to be the, oh my gosh. The fact There's that going to be, be an there. Audible about section. Oh, with that that nice. Tickets you still are available, incredible. John? Yeah. Tickets still available? Tickets yes. are still available, yes. Okay. Best All right. On the website. So the event, uh, uh, event is next Thursday, not yeah. this Thursday, yeah. but next Thursday, next February Thursday. 29th from 6 to 11, a great night out. You'll laugh your butt off, right? It's <laughs> yeah, at the Triple E Theater over in Downers Grove. You'll see Anna. You'll see Mike Toomey. You'll also get to see uh, Andrea Darlis. Yeah, just so a little bit. Andy Richter, and Andy Jim Flanagan. Jim Flanagan. Yeah, yeah well, it's a yeah, great lineup. Who are those people? You got to say Anna Balaval and Andrea Darlis. That's all you need. Darlis, darling. Darling. Darling, thank you all both. Oh, thank, you. thank you both so much.